a fairy tale cottage tour. My family of six stayed here at Charmed Resorts where they offer a storybook camping experience. The playhouse we stayed in was Rapunzel's Cottage, which features a tower as well as a swing off to the side. Around back, there is a wood-fired hot tub, and this was so relaxing. I often got a coffee in the morning and came in here and enjoyed the view of the mountains. You do need to heat the fireplace up yourself and fill the hot tub, but it was so amazing and relaxing to stay in. Coming back around front, this is the fire pit area. There's a picnic table, fire pit, stumps to sit on, and you can purchase wood for an additional cost. Over to the side, they do have a grill if you want to barbecue it all, and I'll show you all the beautiful details that they have here on the front of the cottage. The carvings in the shutters, the details in the windows, Rapunzel's hair that's flowing down from the tower, the wooden tree that goes up the tower as well as the door that's going into the cottage with the little fairy details everything is just absolutely charming and it was so fun to just look around Inside Rapunzel's cottage, it is snug and cozy, but it does comfortably sleep six. As you come through the doors, you're greeted by the little kitchenette, and off to the right-hand side are the tower rooms. At the bottom of the tower is a round little room. Underneath the bed, there's some storage, and this is where my youngest daughter slept, who was six years old. This room is perfect for a small child. It even has its own little light with a rainbow coming off. The entire room is just one little bed that is round and the cutest little place to snuggle up and get cozy. Moving up the ladder to the upper tower room, this is where my two oldest daughters actually took turns staying because they both wanted to stay here. It was definitely the coveted spot because it has this beautiful railing, you're up high, and it's a very private room. The tower room has the most beautiful ceiling in it with beams. The details on the walls are gorgeous, and this room also features a round bed and a beautiful window to look out of. Coming back down the ladder, I'll take you over to the little kitchenette. So it had a little countertop space as well as this beautiful retro microwave. Below there was a garbage pail as well as some barbecue utensils. They also had the most beautiful retro fridge and above that I'm storing our towels for the hot tub outside, all rolled up like that of course because if you know, you know, and if you don't know, I will link the video for that up above. Inside the fridge, we have some snacks. Not very nutritional, but we were eating out most of the time that we were here, so that's why we didn't have any real food in there. Now I'll take you over to the bathroom that has a full shower, a toilet, and the cutest little purple sink and mirror. All the little details in here are just absolutely charming. They also had some towels in here that you could use for indoor use.
coming back out of the bathroom, I'll show you the queen bed area and all the little details that they incorporated throughout. Above the main bedroom and up the ladder is a loft area that sleeps two more people. It features a slanted roof as well as the cutest little window that is at eye level for small children so they can peek through the curtains to the outdoors below. It was an amazing experience for our family of six to stay in this charming fairy tale cottage. And of course, I have to show you what it looked like at nighttime with the lights on outside. We also really enjoyed using the wood fired hot tub, so I'll show you how that worked. There was a furnace that you had to burn wood in, as well as fill up the hot tub, and this lasted for the couple days that we were there. The heat from the fire then goes into the hot tub as well as up the chimney and the temperature can be controlled slightly by using the damper so once the water was at a perfect temperature we used the paddle that was provided to mix up the hot tub so that it was all consistent and then we proceeded to spend quite a bit of time in this hot tub relaxing and playing On the second day of staying here, we got all dressed up because I knew that this would be the perfect photo opportunity to get in some really great family pictures. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.